Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we are going to talk a little bit more about how to counter one of probably the most overpowered espers in this game. And of course the uh, espers I'm talking about is definitely going to be Jiang Juli or JJ. I'm going to call him JJ from now on. Now the thing is, he is very overpowered if used in an offense team, but not in a defense team. And I know a lot of you guys think that, oh wow, JJ, super broken, super overpowered. I'm not even going to touch this defense at all. But that's not really the case. Okay, So let's take a look at how I would normally deal with a team that revolves around something like this. And obviously this is not even nearly the strongest kind of formation that uh, revolves around uh, JJ, right? This is not a team that he excels in, not even in an offense team. So this is going to be pretty easy for us. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take him out ASAP. Right, he's gonna go into deep, uh, he's gonna go into his demon mode. That's not too much of a problem. Okay, so so there are two things that I can do right now. I can use Taylor to either uh, risk it a little bit to use my third skill to remove his standoff buff and kill him instantly. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. Right, I don't think I'm gonna make that gamble. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him do his thing. Right, I'm just gonna let him do whatever he needs to do, and I'm okay with it. I'm I'm chill about it. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kill everything else. Just let him be alone. It's it's totally fine. Okay, so we got rid of all the other annoying espers around. And now all we need to do is just let him do his thing. There you go. So now he chopped my Dahlia. And that's basically it. He's screwed. Because now he's left in the open. He has no more standoff buff. And that's it. We are done with the first JJ. But obviously, like I said earlier, this is not even a comp that makes JJ powerful at all. This is definitely not one of the scariest comps out there. So we're going to take a look at some other comps and some other ways that we can deal with him. And obviously, the first way is to just use a team that is just a lot of DPS and a lot of single target DPS. So over here, I have Liling, I have Tiger Mami, I have Taylor. They all deal a lot of single target damage. So that is one way that you can counter a JJ by letting him hit you first and then using a single target skill to kill him after. Words. And this is also part of the reason why I feel like JJ needs to be built hybrid and not just straight offense in like most of the people's defenses. I don't really think that having a crit damage attack attack kit is going to be good for you in the long run because that's going to take away from your tankiness and most of the time that tankiness is very important in making your JJ stay alive. So let's just do a few more refreshes until we find another team with a JJ again. Okay, what do you know? This is a very scary JJ team over here, so Roby1. So this is a team that I'm talking about that is a little bit scarier. So two things over here. Number one, there is an Ahmed over here who's going to give him a lot of attack power. And there is also an Oli who's going to prevent him from dying. And this is a lot scarier in my opinion. So for teams like this that is a little bit faster as well, the only way for you to truly counter this is to take the first turn to just immediately blast them off the stratosphere, right? But if you're not able to outspeed them, it's not going to be as effective, but there are also other strategies by using strips and stuns, and obviously Prisker is going to be one of those options. But let's take a look at this once again, right? If we get outsped, we are kind of screwed, especially for a team like mine. Okay, we are not outsped, so that's still fine, right? So we're just going to do the same thing. Okay, so just nuke everything. Right, take him out at the start, you see? Take him out at the start. Okay, he hasn't been taken out. Oh yeah, okay, so he is taken out at the start. Um, so this is perfectly fine for us. We're just gonna let him do his thing, and then we should be okay. So from here, we're just gonna punch, and then punch. And I guess now we can just test the waters. Let's just use our third skill, maybe this will work. It did not work, okay, but that's still okay. It's not, it's not the end of the world, right? So he's gonna take his turn very soon. There you go, so he attacked my Lin Xiao, and that's it, right? He's kind of screwed now, because now my... Uh, okay, he, he was not able to take his turn because of the taunt. It was super unfortunate that our Liling was taunted. If not, I'll just use my second skill and take him out ASAP. But uh, I think we can still do this. Okay, he's gonna kill my... He didn't even crit. Okay, but assuming that he crit and he killed my Liling, my Taylor would still be able to perform pretty well against him. Because, like I said, he is not built tanky at all. Right, he's not built tanky at all, so it, it's, it's actually quite easy to deal with uh, a JJ. This is one of the ways, right? So just a lot of single target damage and just taking the first turn to cleave them at the start. That is one of, in my opinion, the best ways to, to deal with him. Just let him counter attack once, whatever, and just kill him afterwards. Another way is to just use uh, crowd controls and the right kind of crowd control. So hopefully we can see it over here. Okay, I'll come back when I do find a JJ team. So we're gonna run a team like this. This is a little bit of a gamble because we need to cool down reset with our Pritzker or not just JJ but we need to cool down reset on the ollie as well. It's very important that we cool down reset the ollie. If not, he's going to prevent the death of the JJ over here. So you know what? Hopefully RNG is in our favor and we, we should be able to get this done. So if you do not have a Pritzker, or rather if you do have a Bonnie, Bonnie is going to be a lot better here because she's a Shima type, which means that she's going to bypass um, elemental disadvantages and all that. So that's still okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip everything. So I'm using a Tricky here, but if you have a Lucas, Lucas is going to perform equally well. 
Okay, good. We got a stun here, which is okay. And now we're gonna go for this cooldown reset. We didn't get the cooldown reset on the Ollie. That's very unfortunate. So like I said, that is going to prevent him from dying. But the thing is, he has two turns of cooldown on his passive here, which means that if we use our second skill like so, we do not kill him quite yet, but we should be able to pop it off here. Okay, so we failed to get our combo off at the start, but maybe we could reset his cooldown with our first skill over here. So hopefully that works. We didn't get a cooldown reset. Oh no, now we're kind of screwed. But he does not have his standoff buff anymore, which is still okay for us. So what's going to happen is we're just going to continue nuking him as always, right? And that should work perfectly fine for us. So we can push our AP. And uh, yeah, just get our nuke like so. And that's it. Down goes the Jiang Tuli, and that's about it. I mean, okay, so this is a little bit more uh, RNG focus, obviously, right? It's gonna, it's, it's not always gonna work for uh, most of you guys, right? Because at the end of the day, if RNG fails to serve its purpose for you, then that that's basically it. Just to summarize this a little bit, another way that you can deal with JJ is to just cool down, reset him, and unfortunately, right now, which is pre 3.1.2 patch, we do not have a lot of cooldown reset options. But as soon as that patch drops, we are going to have so many more Aspers who are capable of doing cooldown reset, and then things should be a lot easier for us. But anyway, with that said, this is not even a team that is particularly a hard counter to JJ teams. You can definitely use this team and it is still going to perform its function for uh, most fights because there is a strip and there is cooldown reset and that is very powerful. So it's not really like, a, oh no, I'm up against a JJ team, therefore I need to shift my lineup completely. No, this is not the case at all. So for teams like this where you have an Ollie, you have a Hyde and you have a JJ as well, my recommendation for you is to just skip this entirely. This is, this is incredibly broken and in fact, this is not fun at all because at the start, you can't kill off either Hyde or JJ because of the Ollie over here. So what you have to do is to, you have to kill the Ollie first and then afterwards you cannot kill the Hyde. You need to kill the JJ because JJ is going to absorb the damage from Hyde if you aim him first. So that's not going to work. So you have to go Ollie, then JJ, then Hyde. But at that point of time, the Hyde already has like at least 20 to 30 stacks, which is in most cases not going to work out at all, right? And, and the thing is, if their gap is going to be super fast, that is going to be another problem as well. So I'm going to check this out. I am not convinced that I'm even going to, to do this effectively. I might not even be able to get any of my combos out at all. Okay, we managed to outspeed the gap. That's very important. And now hopefully we outspeed everyone else. Oh, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? So now the gap is going to go next, which is... Uh, this is highly unfortunate for us. So yeah, this is probably not going to work. Probably. Let's see, let's see. He's going to demon mode. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess kill the Ollie over here because he has his passive, right? I have to kill the Ollie. So that's the Ollie down. And I think I have no choice but to take out the, the height now. Did we? We didn't even kill the height. Holy crap. <laughs> we are in deep, bro. In deep. And he killed our Liling, which is going to suck. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. So this team is incredibly broken, dude. Incredibly broken. I think we can take out the... Possibly. Possibly take him out like that. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And now we are just going to have to worry about the height, who has 27 stacks. 28 stacks with full HP. Holy crap. This is not going to be easy at all. Don't counter attack. Okay, good. No counter attack. Okay, don't counter attack. Okay, good. No counter attack. <laughs> it, we, we can still do this. It's still possible. Right? It's still possible. Freeze the Clara. Good freeze. And now he's going to kill off my tailor. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. Yeah, so that's it, right? GG. This, this team is incredibly sick. This is a very good team. So Nazir Beard, you have a very strong team over here. If you have Aspers like this, then this defense will definitely work very well for you. Because I will need to keep repeating this until I get my RNG to working in my favor, which I'm definitely not going to do. So yeah, that's it for this video. This is how you can deal with some of the JJs, where obviously you can't deal with every single team, especially something like this is, is way too much. But anyway, I hope this video was at least somewhat informative for you. If it was, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Gary free to play And as always, I will see you in the next video.